This is the Evernote website, evernote.com. This is where you'll find everything like Evernote, Sketch, Penultimate, the Web Clipper, and so on. And it's the Web Clipper that I've been using to capture web pages. Let's say, for example, I want to create a Evernote notebook all about my new bathroom. I want to collect some ideas about creating my new bathroom. So let's clip this note. So I'm going to clip it. Let's save the article. And I might forget that I've got it into the wrong notebook. Don't worry about it. We'll fix it later. Let's have a look here. Oh, guest bathrooms. I get, might get some great ideas from these guest bathrooms. And there's a great idea. Maybe that's the sort of thing that I'd like to do. So let's clip that page as well. And we'll close that. So what, it, uh, what Evernote does is it now stores those notes that I've clipped into my note database in the cloud. What I need to do is come back to my iPad and synchronize so I can see those notes. So here we are. I'm just going to synchronize. And when I synchronize, I should see those notes that I've clipped appear in my notebook. Now I realize that I've clipped those notes into the wrong location, into the wrong notebook. What I really want to do is to save them to a new one. So let's just have a look. I'll just tap on that note there. Brings up the whole note. Notice it's got the whole website. It actually goes on the internet and downloads everything. So it's like a complete copy. It doesn't save everything, it saves all the text, but all the images have to keep downloading again. Tap the I button. Let's have a look at the notebook. Now, what I need to do is to create a new notebook to store it in. So let's create a new one called Bathroom. Let's add, so I tap the Add. Bathroom's now at the top, you can see that's there at the top of the, the area. And I can go back to Note Info, and what it should have done is stored that note into a new location. I've got another bathroom one here, so let's tap that. Let's look at my notebook. I can choose bathroom, that goes to the top of that list. So it should close and accept that as the note, because if you don't, then it won't move the note. Let's try that again. That notebook is motor racing, we want it to be bathroom, and as soon as you tap bathroom, it should move that note now to my bathroom notebook. If I go back to my home page, you can see there's my bathroom notes. All my notes are there together. Now it appears to me that I've got the same note twice, which I clearly don't need. So there's a rubbish bin at the bottom. Tap that. Move to the trash. And I've gotten rid of that extra note. Down the bottom it just said sending changes. So I don't need to synchronize. It's just synchronized, but if you want to, do that. Now if you do have trouble moving your notes to the correct notebook, try the synchronize first before you move those notes.